month-long investigation, no criminal charges will come from the sexting investigation in Canyon City. Three cell phones were confiscated, containing hundreds of nude photos. CARDIO News Channel 13's Greg Miller has been following this case. He is live tonight with reaction. And Greg, some parents here were surprised. Yeah, Heather, surprised, especially when you remember the strong reaction from the district attorney's office and even school officials just last month when this news broke. The DA's office was talking about potential felony charges given the scope of the crime, and the school even canceled the football game. But some are wondering tonight why the alleged teens involved are only going to get off with a warning letter. So as being a parent, I just wanted to see what the consequences were. That consequence? A warning. Uh, what they did is against the law and it's not appropriate. And as I mentioned, we will consider any ongoing possession or behaviors of this nature to be an aggravating circumstance. A warning parents like Barbara Penizek were surprised to hear. I thought that there should be ways to identify more of the students and to compel them to come and be interviewed. They had done something wrong. On three phones turned into authorities, 351 photos of minors, most of them not including faces. Ultimately, 106 students were identified, and the pictures were allegedly being traded. It was uh, one student that mentioned that uh, the students were referring or had a, at least some students were referring to these pictures as Pokemon cards, uh, which is apparently uh, a trading card game. The superintendent says no students were ever expelled from Canyon City High School. He wouldn't elaborate as to how many were suspended as a result of this case, but his focus now is how to prevent something like this from ever happening again. How might we support parents, communities, uh, in educating um, um, uh, kids about uh, the devices they use? Some parents believe it was a pass. Yeah, I understand Fifth Amendment rights, but when you've broken the law, you have to be accountable. I, I didn't see that today. As students allegedly involved won't face the punishment this time. The district attorney said there weren't enough aggra aggravating factors to issue any further action or to pursue it any further. The, the DA's office, though, is sending warning letters home to the parents of the teens alleged to be involved, warning them not to do this again. Reporting live, Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thank